No more jokes this time. I'm opening the episode. It's early in the morning for the first time in a while. I'm recording early in the morning. Why are we even talking about this? Yesterday was AEW Dynamite, the last Dynamite before All In. It's at Wembley Stadium, I, I remember. <laughs> and it's the biggest event in wrestling history, whatever. Last week, I missed talking about Dynamite or Rampage or Collision or whatever because I wanted to get more involved into the storylines before talking about them. So today, I'm gonna talk about the things we saw on Dynamite. Before going into any more detail, I kind of want to mention that this episode of Dynamite felt a little bit more of a filler for all in nothing really happened just a lot of matches went down but in a very strange way and they they finished in a very strange way and the example is the first match the elite versus the bullet club gold they attacked each other before the match and basically they wanted to involve the elite versus the ftr angle and the elite versus the Bullet Club Gold angle, and Kenny Omega versus the Bullet Club Gold angle, and Takeshita versus Omega, uh, and all of these happening at All In at Wembley this Sunday. Thank you very much. Next up, we had two interviews, one with MJF and one with Adam Cole that were basically there. They were asked uh, of their friendship, and what the winning of the title means to them and all of this stuff and they're so cute probably they're gonna break at some point uh because mjf is gonna freak out because he loses it all in but yeah my prediction is that mjf is gonna lose it all in and uh that friendship is gonna break because adam cole is a wrestler that is known everywhere around the world and it's a shame that he was a mid carder for the majority of his time for example in nxt the fact that you're in nxt doesn't mean that you're the main roster so basically he was a mid carder in aw for a long time he was a mid carder right now he's he has a title shot and yeah and i i kind of want to see him winning but at the same time, I want this friendship to continue. But at the same time, even if it continues, what it will bring to the table? Probably nothing, so it better ends at all in with some majestic bra. My suspicion about the whole thing, how it's gonna go, they're gonna open the Zero Hour with versus the Aussie Open. Some shenanigans is gonna happen there when Adam Go is gonna screw MJF or the other way around and that whole thing is gonna flare up and basically it's gonna blow up in their match against each other at the main event and Adam Go is gonna win hopefully please Adam Go win and MJF is saying that winning will make him a legend no man it's not gonna make you a legend but Adam Go for sure will become a legend if he wins that match after that we had a match that was basically showcasing Blackpool Combat Club versus Ray Phoenix, Penta, and Brazilian other guys at a stadium stampede match. I never liked those matches. I kind of don't understand the idea behind those matches. It's a huge brawl and it's a little bit like a Royal Rumble match. It's not, no, it's a little bit like a battle royale. Like, you cannot really track what is happening like everyone is fighting everyone and yeah but uh, basically the match was cool until the point that it ended blackpool combat club came out they attacked ray phoenix with crowbars what the flip was that necessary even and after that ray phoenix was taken out to the hospital all of his friends were there they were worried and um yeah Renee Paquette tried to do her job. Everyone was pissed at her because she's married to John Mox. Yeah, that happened. After that, we had an interesting 
face off Chris Jericho versus Will Ospreay. I really like the exchange. Uh, I never watched a match of Will Ospreay, but I know that everyone is praising him for his in ring abilities. I never knew that he is good at the mic as well. He was really good at the mic. I was about to say really decent. So let's say that he's good at the mic. Chris Jericho, of course, is a top tier person on the mic. And the exchange was very good. And I'm really excited to see what they're going to bring to the table. I feel like after this match, Chris Jericho doesn't have anything else to do in the wrestling business in general. <laughs> And I don't know what's in front of Chris Jericho. I'm kind of excited to see what is in front of him. And uh, I'm also excited to see Will Osprey mentions that after six months, his contract in New Japan ends. So I'm really curious where he's going to go. Probably he's going to go AEW because he mentioned in a recent interview that he will never join the WWE because the schedule is grueling for him and he wants to see his family and stuff. That was a little bit of an interesting thing there. Nick Wayne and Darby Allen versus AR Fox, Swerve Strickland. The match was fine. The match was more than okay. At the end of the match, because Swerve and AR lost, Swerve basically kicked out AR out of the Mogo Embassy. Darby Allen and Nick Wayne came back to the ring and they invited AR Fox to join their group and he accepted, of course. Darby Allen was like, what you gonna do now when you don't have a partner for all in? I don't know why Darby Allen made this accent right now. He doesn't have any accent. He He's American as it gets, but Swerve Strickland smiled and Christian Cage came out with Luchasaurus. It's interesting to see Christian in action. And also there are rumors. I'm saying rumors because nobody knew at 2020 that Edge is coming back from retirement. So there are rumors now that Edge proposed a deal to WWE and WWE rejected him and everyone thinks that he's AEW bound now. And I think that they're just rumors so that people are just blinded online so that they don't search any more deeper into that subject. If Edge shows up at All In, it's gonna be really cool because he's gonna reunite with Christian, but I don't see Edge joining Christian. It's, it's a little bit strange because I don't see Edge being a heel at this point. He tried with the Judgment Day and it worked for a few months, but people are still loving him even as a heel, so I don't see how this will work. After that, I'm gonna quickly mention this. The Acclaimed were furious at... The Acclaimed were furious at the House of Black, that they threw away the boots of Billy Gunn, and after that, Billy Gunn came out and he was like, House of Black, let's go one more time at All In. And basically, it's gonna be Acclaimed plus Billy Gunn, at uh, All In and um, we'll see what will happen. Last but not least, the main event, Aussie Open versus the Hardys. I really want it as a huge fan of Jeff Hardy to see the Hardys win that one and basically at All In to be MJF and Adam Cole versus the Hardys. But that didn't happen. Of course, Aussie Open won. MJF and Adam Cole came out. They confronted them. Uh, we almost saw a split up of MJF and Adam Cole, but everything was good for now. So basically, next stop is AW Collision. Sorry, but I'm not watching AW Rampage. I know that the main action for the women's division is happening there, but I'm not watching it because Rampage is at Fridays. And who is going to choose Rampage instead of SmackDown? Like... You gotta be insane. So just move your show to the, the Thursdays. It's that easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Peace.